I just picked up a welder and I've been wanting to make a version of the iBuildit.ca metal bench vise for a long time now, so that's exactly what I'm going to do today. The original design called for 2 inch by 3 inch square tubing, but I couldn't find any locally, so the vast majority of my parts will come from this 48 inch long piece of 2 inch by 2 inch square tubing. I don't have a metal cutting bandsaw just yet, so all of my cuts are going to be made from an angle grinder with a thin cutoff wheel. And I've had one of these explode on me in the past, so I'm using my safety glasses as well as a full face shield. Now that I have everything cut out, let me go ahead and show you how it's going to be put together before I start cleaning all my pieces and then start the assembly. Now, all of this may or may not work out, and if it's a complete failure, I'm totally okay with that because my main objective was to just get out in the shop and have fun. If, it, if, it, if it's a failure, then I'm going to learn from it and I'll move on from there. But here's what I'm going to do. I don't have a specific spot in my shop for this vise, and I don't have a specific welding table set up yet. So I'm going to mount it to a piece of quarter inch steel plate and then from there I can move it and mount it however I see fit. To elevate the nuts just a little bit I'm going to use another piece of this quarter inch steel. And I'm using just regular generic threaded rod. A lot of people told me not to use this or all thread whatever you want to call it. Because it will strip out. Well I think with four of these nuts back to back to back that will be enough to distribute the pressure amongst multiple threads and hopefully it won't strip out. I'm considering this a medium to light duty vent uh, vise. So Oh well, if it, hap if, it, if it messes up. Like I said, I'm just going to have fun here. So these will be all welded together, welded to this plate, and then welded to this plate. Above that, the bottom, uh, bottom piece attached to the front jaw is going to be able to slide forward and backward. The front jaw will be attached to it. Then the stationary back jaw goes here this support piece behind it and we need to attach these to the bottom plate and to do so the original plan was to use this plate right here with a couple holes uh, and bolts going down to this bottom plate and then another small piece of steel right here to weld between here and then this piece but the resulting gap that I have between this piece and then this support block I don't feel too comfortable filling in that gap with weld so what I'm going to do instead is not use this piece and actually use the offcut piece which has a higher lip on top. This piece will be welded to the bottom of here, this back stationary jaw, and it'll give me a nice surface to put this on top of. Weld this joint right here and then weld this piece to this jaw, uh, this support piece right here. And then I'll cut this off. So that's the plan anyway. I, I don't know if I'm going to bolt this down or just weld it. And then if I need to remove it, just cut the welds. No big deal. So I'm going to clean up all my pieces and then tack everything together. Once it's all tacked where it needs to be, then I'll start the actual final welding. I tacked the first side of the stationary jaw flush and to give enough room for the bottom jaw to slide forward and backward I'm spacing the second side by the thickness of one hacksaw blade. John did the same thing so it worked for him and it should work for me.
I've already welded the front and jaw tubes together. Now these two plates will be stacked on top of one another right here to cover all this up and strengthen the front side. I just need to drill out the holes that I've already marked for the threaded rod. Thank <laughs> you. 